Sushi, it's made from one of the ocean's most important life forms, and I'm not talking about fish. Even if you've never eaten this, I can guarantee you've had seaweed. And you know what? You probably didn't even know it. We have a rich array of seaweed in New Zealand. We have about a thousand species. Some of these are unique to New Zealand, and there's also quite a number that are undescribed or poorly known, and probably quite a few more that we haven't discovered yet. Te Papa's library of specimens proves there's more to seaweed than the brown slimy stuff washed up on our beaches. They're actually quite pretty, especially the red varieties, which have the most surprising uses. So these are the species that are used in making nori for sushi. Really, um, these ones here? These two up here, yeah. They're purple. Yeah, exactly. They're a lovely red when they're fresh and alive, and once they've been processed into nori, they've, you know, turned black and brown and look quite different when they're wrapped around your food. Do we eat other types of seaweed? Something like this, this digartena would produce an extract called carrageenan, which is used in things like commercial chocolate milk, where basically if you didn't have the seaweed extract in there, the particles would just float to the bottom like your homemade glass. So chocolate milk has seaweed in it? Exactly. This is an agar dish which, correct me if I'm wrong, is used in sort of labs for culturing. Exactly. They put the, I mean, that agar in there comes directly from this. Exactly. The extract, and it's a unique compound that only comes from this seaweed and can't be manufactured artificially and comes in no other natural form. Since World War II times, when Japan cut off the supply of agar weed, um, there's been commercial harvesting of terracladia or agar weed off the East Coast, and it's still going on today. How else are we using seaweed? In a whole range of day-to-day -day things. Things from cosmetics, toothpaste, uh, textiles, paints, pet food, all kinds of things you'd never even think of. They're critical. They form the forests of our ocean. They provide food, shelter, habitat for animals, and probably, most importantly, they provide about half of the oxygen that we breathe. I can't quite believe that so many everyday things contain seaweed. My mum always used to say to me, eat your greens and you can have your pudding. If only she'd known there were greens in here.